Hey guys, this is Hannah. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I am going to be doing something a little bit different from my regular videos. Typically I talk to you guys about some sort of subject. So the past couple weeks have been about preparing various types of music for auditions. I've also talked about taking lessons online and all of that sort of stuff. But today I wanna to actually break out the flute and show you guys a little bit about how to play it. Um, so today I have both my current flute in this case and my student model flute in this case um, where I will be talking about uh, how to make sound on these flutes. So I'm going to primarily use my student flute for this because this is aimed at beginners. As much as I love my professional flute, um, so yeah, but um, anyway, here is a fairly common student flute case. Some are more hard. This one has a fabric covering and it is hard. Um, as you can see, this has zippers. Some will have um, clasps to close it. Um, for those of you who are curious, this is a Trevor James Model 10X. Um, so if you are looking for a student flute, these are good uh, ones. They are more expensive than some other student flutes, but in my opinion, it's worth it uh, if you can get the best instrument that you can afford. Um, all right, so I will try and insert a clip here to give you a better angle, but basically before you play your flute, you have to put it together because it comes like this. So the first piece you grab is this piece, which is called the foot joint. Uh, grab that in your left hand and do not press on the keys. If you squeeze the keys too hard, you can bend them. You can bend this rod right here and then the lowest notes will not come out. So keep it on the end. And same thing with this piece, it's just the body. So grab it up here by the flat part. Try not to grab the keys. And then you'll line it up so the keys are fairly similar. I'll show you exactly where in a minute, but here is that. And so you don't necessarily want these keys to be in line with these keys. And you don't want the rod to be in line with this rod. If the keys are lined together, you would need a really long right pinky. If the rods are together, um, you would need a really short pinky or really long for these three fingers. So find a middle ground. It may take some practice to figure out what feels best for you, but luckily as a beginner, the only key you have to worry about on the foot joint is this guy. So I will, just yeah so these this right hand this is your pinky and then your right hand goes like that your left hand is a little trickier you have this key right here so your index finger goes you skip a key so you go here and then you don't skip a key here and then your left hand pinky will just float above and it'll float above any key that you're not using and then your thumb will typically go on this key. Um, there is, there are two keys. There's this and this thumb, um, but this is the standard one for beginners. This one get, plays a different note. So that's, that's why you want to avoid that. And then I'm gonna set this part aside real quick while I talk about the head joint, which is this guy. So this will go into the body. However, as a beginner flute player, you want to make it as easy as you can on yourself to make a sound. So sticking with just the head joint, you can play some exercises. If you've ever blown across a soda bottle, that is a good way to uh, think about making a sound. People have also used the idea of spitting rice or spitting watermelon seeds, so making sort of a... Uh, and then you just put it here. The placement should uh, be just under your lip and 
or as close to the middle as you can get if you guys notice. I have a bit of a cupid's bow so that makes it hard for me to get a good sound right in the middle so I do play slightly off to the right. People play off to the left. It's very common. So if that's you, don't worry. Um, just find what works for you. Feel free to move here, move up and down to see what works with you and your lips and your flute. But then you should be able to get that sound. You can also cover the end or lower. And then you can also play little three note melodies with your index finger. song down below so you can uh, recognize what I'm playing the notes weren't exact so it does take a little bit of your ear to recognize how far in to move your finger if your fingers are a little thicker you can also use your pinky um, so don't be afraid to practice on the head joint for as much as you need to and then then you can worry about the notes on here um, so Again, and I, uh, when you are putting the head joint in the body, hold the body like this. Soft part, avoid putting your hand on this, which is called the lip plate. And then line it up. So, see, this is kind of hard to show, but it should be in line with these keys or slightly forward or behind. Again, it will depend slightly on your playing style and what's comfortable for you. For some people, it's more comfortable to have the lip hole farther back so that the keys can be a little farther forward or vice versa. Um, but ideally, just line it up and look down. So I'm looking down the keys to the hole to make sure it was in a good position and then just play a note. So um, that's a little bit about making your first sounds on the flute and putting it together. So now the first few notes that are very common are the notes B, A, and G, which allow you to play a lot of various songs. So I've mentioned this a little bit before, but this is your first finger goes here, you skip a key, second finger, third finger, pinky rests typically, and then your thumb goes on this bottom key, and then your left or your right hand here, 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 and then pinky goes on this key, and then your thumb just goes underneath the flute. I do play a little farther back but you can play it under here. If you're a beginner, this may feel more comfortable because it can feel like you're gonna drop the flute if you have not worked on the balancing aspect. Um, yeah, that's a bit about that. So I'll teach you the notes B, A, and G. So for B, you put your first finger right here and your thumb on this lower one. Very important. Can't stress it enough. Um, so. That's an OB. So practice that a few times. Then if you're playing the fingering for B, skip a key, remember, A. And that's the note A. And so I am exaggerating what I'm doing with my fingers here, but you want to keep them as close to the keys as possible so that you can go between the notes fluidly. Then G will be just like A, we add this key. So again, leave that song down below if you recognize it. It's a very popular one. Um, and it is very, you know, nice to get started and to play something recognizable right off the bat. 
Um, so yeah, those are your first few notes, setting up the flute, getting a sound on the flute. If you're ever struggling to get a sound with the whole body together, take the head joint off, set the body down safely, and there you go. So keep practicing if you would like to learn more. Um, please subscribe to this channel, give this video a like, let me know what other flute tutorials you would like to see. And if you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me, I do offer online lessons, both live video lessons where we meet over a video chat program and um, recorded performance checks where you send me a recording of yourself and I will review it and give you feedback. Um, so. Yeah, if you have any other questions, be sure to leave them down below and I will see you guys next week.